Hi, I'm Jess Italia Lincoln, educator and designer for Vintage. I'm super excited about this new die set we have with Sizzix. We came up with bezel framelits, and these are dies that are meant to go with our Vintage Natural Brass bezels. They cut the exact interior shape of our bezels, so we have three different sets, cut circles, squares, and an eclectic set that cuts different shapes. You can create beautiful mixed media jewelry, memory jewelry, and a whole bunch of different projects using these dies. This is one of the most exciting things that I love designing with right now. Now that I've tiled my photo images on the computer and printed this out on a photo matte paper, I'm going to um, create my art foil surface to transfer this image onto it. I'm going to use um, matte medium from Ranger. It's going to apply a bunch here into my nonstick craft sheet. And then with a flat tip paintbrush, I'm going to really put a generous amount onto the surface. And what you're doing is you're applying this and I'm going to put my photo down into it so you want really a good generous amount um, covered on this whole entire piece of the art foil, this, you know, around the size of your image a little bit more. Put my brush into the water here. And I'm going to take this image, and this is a high contrast black and white photo that I'm going to place right face down into that matte medium. And go ahead and smooth it with my finger and you really need to smooth it down quite a bit and while this you're gonna allow this to dry very well um, you can let it air dry or you could use the heat it craft tool to speed up some of the drying time in, on it as well and when using the heat it craft tool you want to hold it a good amount away from the surface and use a back and forth motion for heating now that this is completely dried, I've just trimmed around the edges to size and I'm going to now apply water to the backing of the photo matte paper. So I see a little bit of the silver edging and that's the foil, so I want to make sure that's, that side is up, the silver side up. So this is the white backing of that matte photo paper. I'm going to apply quite a bit of water and that's going to start seeping into this paper so it allows you to remove that to transfer the image. getting this paintbrush wet and letting water pull up over this here. Okay, and then you're going to start to use your finger and you're going to start rubbing away this paper backing to reveal the image. And the more water you have on, the easier it is for this to start um, coming off. You can see here that I have a little bit coming off and what I'm going to do is just continue to apply water when needed, when this dries, I'm just going to dab a little bit more water over these areas. I'm going to let that completely air dry before cutting it out. And now I'm going to show you another option for an image transfer using what was printed on the graphics transfer film and I'm going to transfer that onto a silver art foil as well. So what I'm going to do are there's two parts to this transfer film and I am going to remove this clear part this from the frosted backing. Completely remove this and I'm going to stick the clear sticky side face down onto my printed image. flip this over and I'm just going to use a popsicle stick to burnish this. So I'm going to really smooth this down here. Okay, after burnishing the last step is to remove this clear part from the front of the image and then I'm going to place this face down onto the art foil. So go ahead and stick that down and then do the same process and just burnish this on. Okay, so now you can see that that's kind of starting to remove itself. It's 
more of a cloudy image when it starts to peel away from the that backing. And what I could do now is actually start from this corner here and slowly remove this frosted backing from the image and it has completely transferred onto the art foil. It's a really neat look. This transfer onto the art foil directly with the transfer film has more of a crisp look, has more of those black, you know, high contrast tones where the photo transfer from matte paper onto the foil is a little bit more of a faded look. Okay, now I'm going to show cutting these out with the bezel framelits. Okay, I'm going to cut these out at the same time. So I have my solo ship and solo platform, a solo thin die adapter, and one of the clear cutting pads already stacked on the machine. And I'm going to place both of these images here side by side. And then I'm just going to feel for the raised side of the framelit. So this oval here is going to be placed over this image. And then on the circle, I'm going to place that over this one here. And I'm going to add that second clear cutting pad. And go ahead and run this through the machine one time. To remove some of the waves from the art foil, sometimes when you cut these image transfers, you just want to remove some of those waves. There might be like a little kind of beveled edge. All I do is flip it over to the back side and I'm just going to lightly smooth it out. And then to prep my bezel, I just added a little bit of hand sanitizer to a paper towel. I'm just going to wipe this clean from any dirt or oils from your hands before sticking it inside. And then something else I like to do, especially with this decorative one, this is the rosemal bezel. As I like to relief the edges a little bit just to bring out that detail. You could also add patina like I've done here and wipe it with a paper towel just to add some color to it. This has a really nice detail to the edge so it kind of highlights and frames that image. And then I'm just going to use my thumb to start peeling this white backing away from the foil. And then I'm going to look for the hole in the top of my bezel here and make sure that's at the top and go ahead and start sticking this down. I'm just going to use my fingers and my nail here to kind of smooth it all around these edges. So I've placed these in the melting pot and set to the UT setting and I have them placed on top of a nonstick craft sheet. It's a project sheet with the tabs. And I'm going to apply a small amount of the U2, which is the clear, ultra-thick embossing enamel. And I'm just using a small um, measuring spoon to apply this. I'm going to apply it to the center and allow it to start melting to the edges. This bezel here has a hollow back, so it does take a little bit longer to melt than this one will. Okay, and the thing about this one on the matte photo paper is once this starts melting you're going to see that the metallic foil is really going to show through. It's going to take away that cloudy um, look to it and it'll be more of metallic. Okay now that the pieces both have melted I'm going to just gently grab the tabs of this craft sheet and balance this off to the side. use this metal all here just to slide it onto a clean part of a craft sheet just in case any UD got onto this so it doesn't get onto the back of my bezels. We're just going to let that cool and cure, cure for about a minute. Now that these have cooled, you can see the difference here on the graphics transfer film, just the crisper image where the matte photo paper transfer is a little bit more of a faint kind of faded look. So these are some great options for photo transfers and you can also do it on the copper art foil for a different look as well.